It's ready to try and find a place to park my RV in Seattle. And you're coming with me. Are you ready? Let's do this. Everybody, David, aka RV Jedi, and I am in Seattle, uh, and now about to try to do one of the most important things I have to do for this RV season and beyond, and that's find a place to store my RV. So uh, I've looked online for a little while. I found a couple places. We're going to check out three today, and you are coming with me. You know, it's kind of like leaving out of the bat cave. You know, finding storage is uh, always difficult uh, for your RV, and especially when you live in a city, downtown. Uh, I live in an apartment, a great apartment in uh, the Belltown area, which is right uh, in downtown Seattle, and I knew there was not gonna be a place for me to park uh, the RV here. Right now, my RV is uh, in Green Bay. I'm gonna have to go back and pick that up fairly soon. Um, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to store it when I get it here. I love the fact that in Green Bay, I have indoor storage. It's been great. The, uh, the you know, the weather there is extreme. Uh, so it's nice to have something inside here. Most likely I'm going to have to store it outside. So that's going to be a whole different kind of situation when I uh, try to figure out where I'm going to uh, keep the RV, uh, but it will be in a safe, secure location. And that's what's important. We want to make sure that uh, nobody has access to it. Uh, if we can avoid being someplace where there might be mice that might get in, things like that. Uh, so I'm really interested to see uh, these three options that we have today. Um, and hopefully one of them will work out for me in the long run. So here we are at the first location. Um, it's outdoor storage. Uh, it looks like I could get in here fairly easy with the RV, but let's walk it and take a look. Okay, so this storage yard looks pretty good. Um, it's easy to get in from the top of the hill uh, to here. Uh, there are other RVs stored here. And for the most part, I think this is a pretty good option. Again, it's outdoors. It's gonna be a lot different um, than where I have it right now in Green Bay. Um, but all in all, 24 uh, seven access. Uh, so when I come to pick up the RV, whether it's early or drop it off late, I got a place to, to store it. Okay, so the first spot, not bad. Uh, I think it's definitely an option. One of the things that's nice here is the spots uh, inside uh, the storage area uh, have numbers on the ground. So I guess you get your spot, which is nice. Uh, it protects it. Uh, now time to check out option number two.
Okay, so I've arrived at the second location, um, just a couple of miles um, north of where I was before. Um, this is a much more industrial situation here, um, a little busier to get in and out of, but let's go check it out, see how it works out. Okay, so this location is a lot smaller than the other parking location and uh, I don't know if you can tell by the street, it's a lot busier. So a little concern that I might have is getting in and out with the RV uh, and certainly parking the RV. I don't know if the spot would remain there on a regular basis, uh, so it's a little tighter. Um, and, and, and I don't remember what the price is on this one per month, um, but it's an option. The same company runs this one as runs the first one that we looked at. So uh, we'll just have to see how it all works out. Time now though, to check out the third location. Okay, here we are, the third and final spot. Uh, it was only about five minutes from the last location, probably no less than 10 minutes from the first location. Uh, now, the unique thing about this particular storage spot uh, is that it has somebody who kind of manages the gate. Uh, they have somebody who's available here uh, to watch. You have to turn in your key uh, for your vehicle uh, every time uh, you drop it off. Uh, and it's only open from like nine to five, Monday through Saturday. Uh, Sunday, I, I believe uh, there are limited hours there. Uh, and then uh, depending on the holidays, uh, there are some time restrictions as well. So. The good thing about it is that there's somebody here kind of 24 seven always watching. The bad news though is you have to be very careful about when you drop off your RV. Now, if I wanted to leave at like six in the morning, I couldn't do it because I couldn't get access to my RV until nine. Uh, and then if I'm bringing it home and let's say it's outside the window to drop it off, um, I don't know what I would do with my RV because I, I, I couldn't get it inside the gate. But let's go check it out. It is an option. So this is an interesting storage space. Uh, very much like the first one, there are uh, marked spots on uh, the pavement. So you know exactly where you're gonna keep your RV. It's right across from the Fremont Brewing Company. Uh, so I guess after I drop things off, if I wanted to grab a beer, I could. Um, and it looks like there are a lot of RVs here, which is a nice sign uh, because it means a lot of people, uh, you know, feel comfortable storing it. Uh, Bob wire fence on there. Um, it looks fairly clean. Uh, so this could definitely be an option. Woo. Well, that's it. Three spaces, three options. Uh, I think I can choose one of them. Uh, 
uh, to store the RV and that's good news. You know, originally I was saying that I could be up to a half hour, 40 minutes uh, outside of my apartment to store my RV with all three of these selections. Uh, it's within actually 10, 15 minutes. So that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go home, crunch the numbers, take a look at everything one more time. Uh, scour the internet for one more uh, shot to see if there's something I'm missing. Uh, but I'm fairly confident that one of these spots that you saw today will be the next home for my RV. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on the blog at RVJedi.com. Get out there, RV. When you move to a new location, find a new home for it, store it, and get it ready. Because the nice part about it is once it's here, I can take it out and start exploring the Pacific Northwest anytime I want. We'll see you next time.